More. Hello? Hello. Did you forget about our class? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, how are you today? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, next week you're coming back at school, right? Yeah. Maybe that. Uh -huh. Oh, what is your sister doing? My sister is, um, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So what did you do today? Today I... Today? Today oh. I... Today you... Uh, in home and do some homework. Oh, all done. You share the screen with me. You share the screen with me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's. So let's now continue our class. <laughs> Is that the first time you know how to share? I don't know how to. I want to teach my students how to share too. All right, so let's, we are still in about animals. So now we are going to continue, okay? Yes. All right, so let's play a game. You, ha you have to read the sentences and tell me if it's a dolphin or a bat. Did you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can you please read this? A lot of people are afraid of this animal. Mm -hmm. So, what is that? Is that a dolphin or bat? Bat. Bat. So, why do you think that people are afraid of them? Because... Um, bat is eating, drinking blood. Oh. And it's saving human. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. How about this one? Please read. There is a lot of people's favorite animal. It's the dolphin. Yes, dolphin. So why do you think they are like dolphins? Because dolphin is very smart and... Uh, saving human for the people who uh, can't swim. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a dolphin before? No, I only see in the film. Oh, oh, you only see it in the film. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's continue. People think they are friendly and clever. It's dolphin too. Mm -hmm. Very good, dolphin. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me. How about the point? 
Um, they live in tree or cave and have very strong wing. It's a bat. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. How about you? Are you afraid of bats? Mm, no, because in, I don't live in a place has many cave. Mm -hmm. All right. How about this one? They swim very fast, jump and play with um, ball. Many people go to what? Wait, now, hold on. Continue. Um, wait. Go to watch them playing. It's dolphin. It's a dolphin. All right. And how about? This one. People think it's dangerous, but they are warm. Some of them are beautiful and they don't hurt people. It's a dolphin. Yes, dolphins don't hurt people. How about the next one? Oh, I can hear you. They live in ground up to 12 in warm seas, many parts of the world. They live in groups of up to 12 in warm seas in many parts of the world. It's a dolphin. Mm -hmm. It's a dolphin. All right. Next one. They sleep during the day and fly at night to find their food. It's bad. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's bad. How about this one? Um, they can swim and sleep at the same time, and some of them sleep with one eye open. Mm -hmm. a dolphin. It's a dolphin. Very good. How about this one? Um, they usually eat feet. Dolphin too. <laughs> yes, it's dolphin. Some of them eat fruit and other like insect. Bat. Very good. Bat. How about this one? Um, when you visit a zoo, you can often see this animal in swimming pool. It's a dolphin. Very good. Dolphin. How about this one? They have big ears and these leaf. Um, they have big ears and these help them fly at night. It bats. Uh -huh. Very good. And the last one. A lot of people think the animal animal can see, but they are wrong. Uh, they can bats. Bats. Okay. Very good. You get all the correct answers. Good job. So now let's continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is this? Yeah, tiger. Tiger. It's, tiger? A, it's an elephant. How about this one? Uh, giraffe. Okay, so let's watch this. Let's watch. 
a crocodile. Run! What do you see, Song? Wild animals. What do you see? What do you see? I see a rabbit. I see a rabbit. What do you see? What do you see? I see a monkey. I see a monkey. What do you see? What do you see? I see a zebra. I see a zebra. What do you see? What do you see? I see a tiger. I see a tiger. A tiger? Run! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Stop! Say! What do you see? What do you see? I see a snake. I see a snake. What do you see? What do you see? I see a hippo. I see a hippo. What do you see? What do you see? I see a lizard. I see a lizard. What do you see? What do you see? I see a lion. I see a lion. A lion? Run! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Stop! Say! What do you see? What do you see? I see a giraffe. I see a giraffe. What do you see? What do you see? I see an elephant. I see an elephant. What do you see? What do you see? I see a kangaroo. I see a kangaroo. What do you see? What do you see? I see a crocodile. I see a crocodile. A crocodile? No! So that was a video for the animals. How about you? For example, you go to the zoo and there's a tiger and a lion. They were not in a cage. What are you going to do? Mm, I don't want to afraid because I don't at the zoo <laughs> you don't do it you don't go to the zoo no in vietnam it has um no a lot of zoo oh okay and this time mm -hmm. okay so now our next topic is Please read. My things. Ah, so what can you see in the picture? I see a clock. I see a... What's this? You see a clock? A teacher, a cake, a penguin, and the... Picture about the human putting the trash on the trash can. Mm -hmm. Very good. Science, uh, oh, science water. Uh -huh. So let's continue. Uh, okay. What are these? What are these? Right? Words on the lines next to the pictures. Okay, so for example, this is a sweater. How about this one? What's this? These are gloves. Gloves. How about this one? It's a umbrella. An umbrella. How about this? I don't know. Brush? 
like brush. A brush, very good. How about this one? A backpack. A backpack or rucksack. And the last one? The ice skateboard. A snowboard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, look at the pictures. What animals are they? A bat, a fly, a butterfly, a swan, a dolphin, a shark, an octopus, and a lizard. So we have bat, fly, butterfly, swan, dolphin, shark, octopus, and lizard. <clears throat> Which animals do you like? I like shark. That shark? Why do you like shark? Because it's a bear. Big and uh, mm, eat some fish. <laughs> so you like shark because it's big. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, okay. So here, look at the picture. Which animal is the smallest? <laughs> it's a fly. Yes, it's a fly. And which animal is the biggest? It's a shark. Now, listen to Six. the example. 6B. My things. Listen and look. There is one example. Which animal picture is on each thing? I love animals. Uncle Jack, I've got pictures of them everywhere. Look, do you like my sweater? <laughs> yes, it's great, Betty. Mum bought it for me. She got it last year when we visited the zoo. It's got a bat on it. Look, I wear it to school sometimes. Okay. So you have to listen to the audio and and you have to answer which animals are on these things. Did you understand? Yeah. I'm going to let you listen to the audio twice only and after that we are going to check your work, okay? Yeah. 6B. My things. Listen and look. There is one example. Which animal picture is on each thing? I love animals. Uncle Jack, I've got pictures of them everywhere. Look, do you like my sweater? <laughs> yes, it's great, Betty. Mum bought it for me. She got it last year when we visited the zoo. It's got a bat on it. Look, I wear it to school sometimes. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My friend Mary gave me a brush with a lovely butterfly picture on it. It's up there on my shelf next to that little plastic lizard. I use it every day. Shall I show it to you? Yes, please. But look, that's my favourite animal of all. The one on my new snowboard. Mum bought this for me last January when we were on holiday in the mountains. I love swans, don't you? They're so pretty. Yes, they're very nice. And these are my new gloves. 
Grandma made them for me to wear to school in cold weather. They're very warm. And look, she put these purple octopuses on them. She's very clever. What a great birthday present. Your hands look really warm. Do you like my umbrella? It's got animals on it too. My cousin Ben bought it for me because it's got dolphins on it. He knows I love them. That was kind of him. Do you have any other animal pictures on your things? Yes, Uncle Jack. I've got some on my rucksack. I took it on holiday when we were camping last summer. The sharks on the pockets look really dangerous. I love them, but I hated the flies that came in our tent. Okay, let's continue. Last before we check your work. 6B. My things. Listen and look. There is one example. Which animal picture is on each thing? I love animals. Uncle Jack, I've got pictures of them everywhere. Look, do you like my sweater? <laughs> yes, it's great, Betty. Mum bought it for me. She got it last year when we visited the zoo. It's got a bat on it. Look, I wear it to school sometimes. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My friend Mary gave me a brush with a lovely butterfly picture on it. It's up there on my shelf next to that little plastic lizard. I use it every day. Shall I show it to you? Yes, please. But look, that's my favourite animal of all. The one on my new snowboard. Mum bought this for me last January when we were on holiday in the mountains. I love swans, don't you? They're so pretty. Yes, they're very nice. And these are my new gloves. Grandma made them for me to wear to school in cold weather. They're very warm. And look, she put these purple octopuses on them. She's very clever. What a great birthday present. Your hands look really warm. Do you like my umbrella? It's got animals on it too. My cousin Ben bought it for me because it's got dolphins on it. He knows I love them. That was kind of him. Do you have any other animal pictures on your things? Yes, Uncle Jack. I've got some on my rucksack. I took it on holiday with me when we went camping last summer. The sharks on the pockets look really dangerous. I love them, but I hated the flies that came in our tent. Okay. Did you get all the answer? Yeah. Okay. So what are in what is inside the brush? Is a uh, It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly, so let me see. How about in gloves? Uh -huh. The gloves. The lizard. Hold on. Gloves is. Gloves is. What is the letter again? What is your answer again in brush? Uh, the lizard. A brush. Can I go out for a minute? Oh, okay.
Oh, are you okay now? Here. Okay, hold on. So what is your answer again for brush? Can we continue? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Here. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So again, what is your answer for number? For brush, what animal again? Butterfly. Butterfly. How about the gloves? The gloves is a lizard. Okay. How about in backpack or rock shop? A, a shark. Shark. Okay, and how about an umbrella? It's a dolphin. Dolphin. Hold on, dolphin. And how about a snowboard? It is a fly. Fly. Okay, let's see, for brush it's letter C, for snowboard, hold on, I think the answer for this is brush is the butterfly, gloves is octopus, yeah, okay, so look at this. It's correct. This is correct. A backpack is shark. Very good. Umbrella is umbrella is dolphins. Correct. A snowboard is a swan. All right. So the answer for letter H are for gloves. It should be octopus, not lizard. The answer for snowboard is not fly, it's swan. Did you understand? Yes. Okay, very good. Now let's continue. Okay, so we have, please read this. Conjunctions and, but, because, and so. Please read this. Conjunctions are used to join and connect class. Close Each conjunction express a different, different meaning. For example, please read this. Expert edition. When we use it, we add something to the 
previous classes. Contraction. For another one, what? But a spread contrast when we miss, we are approaching two ideas. Mm -hmm. For because. For because. Because I spread cause when we you is. We are pressing a reason. And for so. So I spread a result of something state, state on previous cloud. Okay. Complete the sentences using so or because. Complete the sentences using so or what a lovely day. So we went to the park. He was very busy yesterday. So, so he couldn't see her. I'm happy because it's my birthday. He didn't pass the exam because he did study as a right page. I didn't hear the telephone. Because I was listening to music. I didn't want to walk home. Um, because I took a taxi. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, very good. You got uh, the correct answers for number one. So it's correct. You got all the correct answers. Good job. Now let's continue. How about you? Are you happy when it's your birthday? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. My birthday. Um, 10th of March. Mm -hmm. Oh. Next month, and you're going to be 12 years old. Am I correct? No, 10. <laughs> All right, so what are your plans for your birthday? Huh? What are your plans for your birthday? Um, uh, my plan is going to the restaurant. Oh, you're gonna eat outside. You're gonna eat outside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's continue. Much, then color the two parts of the sentences. Look at the picture. Where are these people? These people in the clothes store. Mm -hmm. Clothing store. Or in a shop. How about number two? What are they buying? They buying a sweater with a bat in the on them. Mm -hmm, very good. And what can you see on the sweater? I see the bat on the sweater. Mm -hmm, a bat. And who is the sweater for? Who is the sweater for? The mother or the daughter? The sweater for the daughter yes and what the, what other animals can you see in the picture i see a a lion a bat and a goat mm, a lion and a goat very good so okay so we have here much you have you have to write you have to what to call this okay this is an example you have to color also the same color for the answer in letter in each letter for example that his mother decided to buy this sweater at the zoo shop last year 
So if it's this color green, the answer should be color green too. But you don't, yeah, you just have to listen and this it will be our number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Okay. You don't have to tell me the color or to color this. You just have to tell me what number is the answer for each letter. Did you understand? For example, for letter A, it's let it's number four. Okay. <coughs> Did you understand? Yeah. Uh-huh. Please read letter A, B, C, D, E, and F. Please read it. Read it. Her friend Mary drew Z and. Uh, I'll just continue. Num letter C. And. Letter C. Read letter C. Do not answer yet. Uh, her mother got her. This ingenuity, her grandmother made this so her cousin Ben bought her this because Betty carried her things in the. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, doing since it's already our time, we just have to end it here and we are just going to continue this on the day. Okay? Okay. All right. So thank you for tonight, Dewey, and see you again. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.